Alright, what is up you guys and welcome to the NU Ladder yet again. Uh, we did a voting on Twitter and you guys wanted to see me capitalize on hail. Now there are two ways to capitalize on hail. Um, this is, I would say, the more defensive response with physical attackers. We also have a hyper offensive variant which I prefer, but I feel that that variant are done to death. So with that in mind, I kind of want Sandslash to get his showcase a little bit. and. Uh, a quick rundown about the team. We have Aurora's here, which is an icy rock variant, not um, sadly not um, the focus sash set. This Aurora should come in mid game or early game, but not be a lead. It is a fake lead though, so it definitely could throw people off. Uh, sash Lash, which uh, of course Life Orb, Sword Stance, Icicle Crash, or no, Spear. Iron Head and Earthquake. Alice Spear is there for any possible Sash user such as Vivillion, who could throw this team for a loop. Uh, but it is sad to set Adamant this time around. Uh, Timid, uh, Max HP Articuno, which might sound weird on paper, but Blizzard Hurricane, Aurora Veal, and Roost. And we're supposed to have Light Clay. I realize that right now. Uh, the reason you want to capitalize on Aurora Veal on uh, Articuno with Snow Cloak making this Pokemon real annoying to be dealing with is because it does pack some kind of punch here and uh, quite frankly uh, Articuno is very very underrated so I wanted to capitalize on that uh, the other variant with hyper offensive team would be Beatik over this one and then Malamar being Zatu instead and resolving the um, sorry resolving the possible stealth rock issue which will be very prevalent in this specific team uh, next one is Malamol, contrary to normal UMC, Happy Hour variant. The standard set really does thrive really well in uh, Aurora Veal. Uh, Embor, it, it is my fire switching basically, one of the ones that will capitalize on. It's not meant to, but it is a switching for it. One could really, like, if I had to say it's something that is better, I would say a possible bulky water type. Uh, but Embor, just pack a few punches in here and always threading something out and with priority it does open up a few lead ways here which is why I'm going to use it such as if I face a, a possible eruption uh, Typhlosion, I can always go for Sucker Punch which will, like I said, open up a few holes. The last Pokemon here is Golbat. Golbat is just a Philemon. Like I said, this is a defensive team with a defensive aspect to the offensive Ice team. So what I want with these Pokemon are to be able to, of course, defog or discount or spinning him basically, but I don't want Clay Duel. I don't believe Clay Duel brings anything to the team here. It would be a, just will this Pokemon down. So Goldbat faster, a uh, bit more bulkier. It can deal with fighting types, which is something this team cannot. Uh, Aurora's and Sashlet, of course, is ruined by Mac punches. So with that in mind, this is a team for Ormolan. But let's say that there are hyper offensive variants of this team that I also wanted to use and showcase. But I feel like, like I said. It's done to death. I want a few other Pokemon to thrive. So with that said, let's see how well this goes. This is actually untested. So it, it will mean that I go into phase deep competition. And if I'm lucky, I'm going to face something like this. With stick webs. Yay. Mm -mm -mm. And drinking coffee as always. Now, the few things that stands out here, of course, is Shuckle and Axelgore. He is very weak to... Uh, to uh, Embor in uh, uh, behind Aurora Veal. So with that in mind, I shouldn't fear this team all too much. And I, I should just actually do fairly fine here. Though it is a stretch. I think my smartest lead here is uh, to... Um, uh, quite frankly, I think Articuno makes for a decent lead here. Um, basically to... Actually, no, Sasslash. Sasslash does well, so let's go for that. As we see Bravier lead. Uh, we could predict the superpower, um, super U-turn, both are fine, so with that in mind, I'm going to switch out. Um, this definitely reinforces his behavior, it could very well be a scoffed variant. Uh, we don't take a superpower at all, so we need to get out. Uh, it's a bit surprised to see what it goes for, it goes for U-turn, alright. So, uh, oh, it's his life or alright, so Shea Force, possibly Rock Slide, cool. Got a little lead way here. Um, his best switching tool was this. Um, Sangus possibly. Archaeops might actually put a punish here. Um, both of them doing fairly fine here. Um, Alright, go to Axelgo. Um, isn't that a strange switching? What can Axelgo do towards me? Could have finally gambit his best. 
Um, this is a max HP. I'm, I'm not fearing that. So I'm going to go for U-turn. Uh, he does the same. So, right. So, I get to piloting around a little bit. Kind of surprised about that, to be completely honest. It goes to Braviary. And since we know now that it's Life Orb, uh, we can actually friend it out with Articuno. Because Articuno is uh, faster. So... No, it's not faster. But I should still friend him with Blizzard. Um, Blizzard will definitely miss those. I don't believe it's... Uh, best switching whatsoever, but it's it's an option. He doesn't have a ice switching at all. He is very weak to possible rocks here also. So with that in mind, I kind of just want to fret him out with Articuno. As we see, Chuckle comes in. We missed the Blizzard. It is to be expected. Um, since he brought the Chuckle, I'm going to switch out to uh, Golbat, which means that he won't get any hazards up. This is a matchup he can't win. Like, as long as Golbat is healthy, he can't deal with it. Uh, so, Shuckle is very, very redundant here. The only thing that is going against me here is that... Um, and I really can't stress this enough. Uh, I can't get up my own rocks without risking him of actually... Well, trying to capitalize on something. I have no idea why I go for Toxic here. Um, the only thing I can do now is go for U-turn directly and then go to Aurorus. Um... Do I really want that, or do I just go for a sweep here with Malamar? No, he showed me Toxic, so I believe that's kind of risky. So, uh, this is what we do. This is what I do. I'm sad on you, sad on you, I'm sad on you. Why do I have that song in my head? I'm going to have a Stealth Rocks on my own. Um, basically here, Articuno is the one I want in towards this. Uh, get Aurora Wheel up, uh, but I think I need to wheel this Pokemon down first. So go for Blizzard, just maximize the damage. I stated here, he doesn't have a proper switch in here. Uh, though I have a hard time believing Aurora's might aim for a 2 hit kill. Oh, like I said, might. And now Wiki Berry. Oh, uh, that's the wrong berry. An Encore. Alright. I think that's okay, to be honest. Um. I wish I could force this guy out in a better way. I don't want my whole team toxic. Right? So, I'll go to Sand Slash here. Let's see. I heard this all the confusion, I see. Um, I'll go for a Sword Stance here. Hoping it does something weird. He must, uh, he really must be thinking, you know, what the hell did he do wrong there? Goes to Braviary. All right, that's not a switching. Um, that's certainly not a switching. You know, some, things dies now. Things will definitely die now. I'm in hell, bitch. You are not ready for this. Um, all right. It should have said it, though. Alolan Sandslash has a massive uh, thing that doesn't work for it, and that is, like, you have to capitalize on life form. I've seen people use Icicle Plate, and quite frankly, I think that's the better between the two. Uh, mainly because... Oh, it's Scarfed! How weird is that? How weird is that? Why are you Scarfed? That's the weirdest shit I've ever seen. Oh, I fire blast. No. Oh. <laughs> that's that's cool. Did anybody else see that before I saw it? Clear blitz. Hey, here we go. Um. Yep, that should work. Oh, wrong, 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 wrong. Let's see. Oh, this is bad though. Over a sucker punch. Oh, I switches out to the shuckle. Should have gone for superpower. I was feeling it. I was feeling the superpower. 
Uh, right, my best series of play here is go to Golbat. Um, actually, go for Defog. Hmm. That was a weird play, wasn't it? So Encore now? No, oh, keeps going for deep. All right. Well, this is gonna go for Roost because he's gonna keep going for rocks, right? Yeah. So if it's Moss now, he's gonna try to defog, or I mean, go for Encore on me, and this time I go for defog instead. Oh no, that's not exactly what I wanted. Um, yeah. No, wait. Let's think about this. No, because you still have Toxic. I'm going Embor. Uh, I'm gonna lock myself into Superpower. Uh, this is not what I wanted. Can I take a facade? I find that un very unlikely. Better go for Sucker Punch, just get the damage on there. Um, yeah. No way hell, in hell I could play that thing differently. Um, and just try to capitalize on, um, on this. So, bring our Aurors. Uh, his play should be close combat here. Which means that we get tons of residual damage towards this Pokemon. Uh, what I need to do is actually get my Aurora Veal up and then bring Malamar and focus on that. I cannot believe I fell for a freaking. freaking Archaeos. I mean, come on. Right, we're roost here. There we go. Done, sir. That was a that was a turn of what if Sangus worked. And the survey says nope. <laughs> uh, now I would believe his best play is go back to Shuckle, get the rocks. Um, Golbat does re actually deal with his team primarily really well. Uh, I'll say Archeops is my number one enemy here. Uh, basically because I do believe he can throw it in and just go for, lock himself in Stone Edge and actually do fairly fine. Um, I can't rely on Snow Cloak, clearly. Um, I, I can't believe I lost to that opening. Go suck Zilgul. Um This is definitely better, uh, if I had to say something. I'm gonna go for U-Turn here, in case he does that himself. It goes to Encore, alright. As uh, I'm completely fine with that. To be honest, I'm 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 all for that. <laughs> the thing is here, I do believe Axelgore outspeed Malimar. Uh, goes to Archeops, all right. Gotta take a gamble here. It's a risky gamble. This kind. Head smash. Oh, alright. There we go. So now he's locked into that. So that's awesome. We can go for a blister here. I mean, he's he's definitely gonna kill something, right? That's... Like, if he land... Okay. <laughs> oh, dear lord. Articuno just coming through. No tomorrow, bitch. No tomorrow. Back to Axilgul. Uh, I'm gonna keep going for blisters. Um, no reason we're doing anything else here. Uh, final gambit. All right. This is this is a man in pain. <laughs> this is a man in pain indeed. Septile it would be quite frankly the best switch in here. Yeah, uh, my best play is sacking this Pokemon no matter what. Uh, there we go. Dragon Pulse. Awesome. Like I said, we still got the veil, which will mean that we will quite unhindered here be able to go for the happy hour and that should be a wrap basically but that was these series of plays were long in me very wrong of him or not wrong but very weird of him of actually if I'm going to be honest here 
um, for him of sacking um, the Axel Gore, I do believe that was a primary switching it towards everything, and I think that was quite unfortunate because he definitely opened himself up here. A uh, bit weird seeing substitute with life for Bear. You want to see Salak Berry there as something that could be capitalized on, as no matter what he does now, he's still loose. Because I'm getting, I'm getting scarier by the second. Uh, I'll just keep going for super power, no reason for me not to. Aurora will will now run out of me, of course. But there is no way in hell he can KO me. Um, I guess his best series of play would be to try to get in the range of um, uh, of Overgrow, but we're not gonna allow that. We're just gonna kill him. Oh, GG. Um. Very, very strange game, though. Um, I'll definitely say this. Scarfed, uh, Scarfed Archeops was something else. You know, I, I gambled there, of course. Snow Cloak and Head Smash, yeah. Small chance of, of course, connecting. I do believe he had, at best, a 60% chance of KO or hitting me. Had he hit me, I would not get Aurora Veil up. It, and it's whether or not I needed Aurora Veil in the first place, though he did force himself, of course, sack play his uh, Axelgor, which I believe was the last name in the coffin for him. Um, so that worked kind of nicely. And then we see this team. This is this is this is not good. Um, <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Um, I mean, he needs rocks up. He sees that directly. Like Steelix is like his number one friend here. And uh, with that in mind, I kind of wanna <laughs> shit. Yeah, I'm gonna lead off with um, Embo. Uh, he doesn't have anything that appreciates, uh, or besides Slowbro, of course. Uh, but that's the only mon he can have that can take um, take a flare blitz. So that's definitely going in first. That's the right, and he sees that it's battered. I hope his leftovers. So that's cool. Uh, we're gonna send in. Um, gonna send in Auroras actually. I want to get my rocks up. I don't care if you scold me. Oh no, and they burn too. Damn it! Why? Because his only defogger is the same as mine. So with that in mind, I actually don't fear it. Though I have a few less turns in me due to it. The only thing I can hope for is that he goes. Don't go for a KO. Get my rocks up. He goes for Steelix. I can send in my uh, Articuno directly. And then from there, I get Aurora Veil up. And then hope for the best. Because that is basically where we are at. Um, because I have a hard time breaking through this team's natural defenses, and quite frankly, I think I think it's inherently so. Um, yeah, he wants his rocks up. He's gonna get it. I'm gonna go directly for Earth Power, right? Yeah, I think so. Earth Power is a better play here, as that specially defensive. We get Spadef drops, and that's awesome. And uh, follow turn here, I'm pretty sure he's gonna switch out, so we're gonna go for Blizzard. Uh, because he kinda needs to preserve this Pokemon, I'm sure. Uh, he doesn't have any Pokemon that wanna necessarily deal with Aurora's head on. Um, if, if he wanna try to go for the KO, he might very well lose the Celix. He's going to lose the Celix because I'm faster. Um, Golbat is a switching also, and it could, if he wants to get rid of his rocks on his side, um, he has to do the same with mine. I, I like this situation. This is um, basically, you know, make your call and I'll I'll respond accordingly. So right, I think that's the better overall play. As um, I think he's stalling it out, right? Uh, I'm still going to freeze try. Um, he's definitely thinking, you know, which series of plays would work here. As Embor makes sense. Makes a lot of sense, actually. And now I die to rocks anyway. So I go for a power. If you want to KO me, that's fine. Goes for Flare Blitz, that's quite right. I'm gonna go for a U turn. I'm presuming he's scarfed or banded. There we go, Vika Vault. That's okay. Um, so bringing Articuno. This is my last turn of Hail. 
Let's get the veil up. He goes revolt switch. Hope the KO. It does. Awesome. Now bring me leadway. I think you realize how ugly things could get now. I hope so, at least. Should we say it though? I don't believe a Lowland Sand Slash. Uh, I mean, it's redundant for this team anyway now. But um, it couldn't possibly threaten his team with Slowbro in mind. So it goes to Steelix. That's quite right. I'll just go for Flare Blitz directly. Because the thing is here, his only possible switching is Slowbro, and Slowbro still took a big chunk of those that damage. So we say he's in, he's sacking it, I get that. So he has no way of getting up rocks, so do, of course I don't either. Uh, we saw Leftovers on the Slowbro, so we already know that... Um, we already know that, um, if anything, Slowbro could probably have slack off. And I need a free, fresh switch in. Let's see, is it Ghost Golbat? I find that interesting. And I am faster. I don't kill him, though! Uh, and he goes for Defog. He goes for Defog. That's... That's interesting. We're definitely taking you out this time. Or no, he goes to Slowbro. And I get a lot of residual damage towards you, but I'm pretty sure your play here is to go for the slack off. It goes directly for Scald. Interesting. Gets the burn first turn. That's even worse, actually. As, uh, yeah, I mean, he can just stay in here. I'm gonna frame him a little bit with Soul Stance, but quite frankly, you know, we, if we die, we die, basically. But this team is a bit too bulky for my taste, and quite frankly, it did work just because of that. Uh, this team does not deal with well with Slow Bros, and Slow Bros are a threat in this tier whatsoever. Um, he's going for Scald, and that's gonna KO me eventually here. Or eventually it's going to KO me. Uh, and that's actually what I wanted, because I want you whittled down. It doesn't have anything on the team that want to take a wild charge, so we, we take that. We take that opportunity. Right, I'm gonna go for another one of those, and I think Whimsicott is his switching. So with that in mind, we go and try to capitalize on it. Oh, it keeps going for that. Dear Jesus. Second Embor, we lose this game. I mean, no matter what I do here, we lose. Um, I can try to take this opening, but it's already over. Oh, goes to Whimsicott directly. Uh, Alright, and he's gonna go for an Encore. That seems obvious. That seems really obvious. Or not. So with Twinkle Tackle? Yeah, cool. <laughs> but yeah, as I say that this team is really hard to use due to these defensive situations. It doesn't matter how one try it. Um, bit surprised here it doesn't go for um, anything else there. My goal that might very well be very threatening towards him. But yeah, we don't lose too many points either, we're like really high on the ladder, so that's alright. Uh, one more game. But yeah, there's also another concept here I want to try out, and it might actually be uploaded the same day, just to showcase the difference here, if I decide to do that, that is. But as you guys saw already, there are clear indications and issues here, and one of them really being that defensive team will eventually not only wall you out, but can possibly just ruin you outright. And that's always going to be a thing with these teams. Um, that's why Hale is so much better in actually uh, Yu due to Aurora Ninetales resolving the most of the issues. Uh, there we go, that team looks awful. 
Um, but yeah, Aurora Ninetales, Aurora, Alola Ninetales dude's Aurora Veil naturally is one of the better Pokemon indeed due to being able to actually capitalize on a lot of things Aurora naturally. Um, if I would say one thing that stands out here is that uh, Sneasel eats me um, really well, but um, if I whittle down Steelix, Alolan Satchelet should be a primary threat source, and Samurai could pack its superpower, I believe, or revenge, for all I care. Uh, Hitmolee could have Mac Punch, and that's always going to be an issue. Uh, my Pokemon are going to lead it with Zembor yet again, mainly because Steelix is a very good start off Pokemon towards anything on the team. And I can thread it out with a Blitz or a Flare Blitz. His switch in here could be Samurai. It says I'm banded. It's going to hurt his Samurai quite a lot. Uh, oh, you're str is that Shear Force? That's that's a dead Steelix. There comes Samurai just responding directly towards the threats. Uh, we don't know which kind of Samurai this is. Um, and that's not good. Uh, so I'm going to switch in Golbat, seeing what we can soak. If we can soak. We see Sea Power, Hydro Vortex, and it looks to be special, possibly. Um, it actually looks special to me, or, you know, a little, a little bit special. It sounds like it's some kind of retarded. Uh, let's see, yeah, Hydro Pump, there we go. Um, do we have Freddy out there? I mean, I can go for a Roost, just see what it goes for. It goes for Aqua Jet. No, sir! No, sir! That will not work. Flee! Flee while you can. There we go, to Rotom, as we connect to Hurricane. That's that's rare. That's really rare, actually. Um, here's the thing, he's gonna Volt Switch here. We don't have a grounded Pokémon, so he will Volt Switch freely. Um, it shouldn't KO us, though. Uh, it goes with Thunderbolt, actually. Uh, and now we know he's locked into that, so that's actually quite alright. Um, actually worked better than I thought, because it does more damage towards us than we do to him, but we can send in Auroras here, and hopefully this is like two hit KO so we can get up our rocks, and uh, yeah, game on, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this is why, um, uh, what do you call it, um, sorry, uh, let's see, how do you KO us here? I'm gonna bring Articuno again. Um, this is the reason Articuno is so good, it is because it's very bulky. Um, it isn't the strongest Pokemon in the game, but quite honestly, you know, the, anything that if rocks aren't on the field, Articuno is actually a primary threat. Because the, the flying really, really does make this Pokemon a lot stronger. Uh, so we get the Roar Wheel up, and quite frankly, due to the Blister here, we can start spamming just that, or the Hail. He goes for Trick, actually, that doesn't work on me. Um, sadly, it doesn't work on me because I haven't have yet to use a move actually. Um, oh god, I don't have a good switch in here. I don't want to receive damage on my gold bat. Um, yeah, just have to deal with it. it. Had Stone Edge. That's interesting. Uh, Blister probably KOs, it doesn't. He could always miss that, so I'm gonna go for Roost this time. Uh, right, knock off. Cool. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's setup time, but not the one you think. Yeah, I can go for a happy hour here. He could have high jump kick and he could do some damage towards me, but we are all behind Aurora Veal. There's a high jump kick, it won't damage us too much, but it should be stated here that I have one big issue, and that is gonna be his Samoroth. Um, and yeah, we can just go for superpower here, get to boost, get to diff boost. That's always helpful. Um, Sneasel can't KO us from this range, Samoroth definitely can KO us from this range. Uh, Golbat isn't annoying as all hell, though his only response here would be to get rid of the rocks, and uh, quite frankly, I think that's a fair play. So I'll go for knockoff here, get the Violite gone, and we're gonna see Defogs, we're gonna boost our evasion, so you have a tough time, sir. Uh, I don't know why we do that, but yeah, it's a response indeed. 
could possibly have Sash on uh, his um, on his Sneasel though. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is we already saw the C moves. We're gonna go for Superpower, get ourselves boosted even further. It is whether or not Hydro Pump KOs. It does. It actually does. Um, I think that's okay though. I think that's okay. We should be faster. I should do this. This is a weird play. I don't believe Aqua Jet KOs us. I think Hydro Pump does. Uh, but definitely not Aqua Jet. So with that in mind, you know, I can get myself a bit of boost. The bitty 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 boost. And um, so I want to force him to go for... Uh, I'm going to U-turn here. Uh, oh! We were speed tied, you son of a bitch. No, it probably was faster, actually. Um, here's the thing, though. I go to Aurorus, and uh, basically what I do from here is go for Earth Power Break Potential Sash. Um, even if I don't do that, he's outspeed me with a low kick, because um, that's that going to work. Uh, I still crash directly. Okay. I don't know why I did that, but I am. we are friends due to it. Let's clutch miss. Okay. Oh, this is this is frustrating. This is not how I wanted to win. I'll take it, but this is not how I wanted to win. Uh, right, get a crit there. So that's fair. Um, I need to slash, and that's GG. So very interesting game indeed. Um, let's see. Yeah. GG. Um, like I said here, this team is tough to build around with. You, you saw the momentum shift, and you saw Articuno you eating whatever Rodan was throwing at it. And that's that's what Articuno does to the team. There aren't, there are very few mods against two with Kyo Articuno outside of Stealth Rock. That's why you need to preserve the Stealth Rock. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope the next upload will actually be the other team. I have yet to decide whether or not I will do it. Uh, with that said, guys, it's all this thing for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then. Take care.